Hi guys, so welcome. We're here to practice yin yoga today and today's sequence is for the hips. Um, last week we did, it might have been last week or it might have been the week before, but we did the spine recently. So it's time for us to work the hips. So my hip and spine sequence are two of my most simple and kind of pure yin sequences. Um, you know, I think it would be boring to just do hips and spine and hips and spine and hips and spine uh, over and over and over again. So I have some other sequences that work both together and, you know, we have different things that focus on meridians and other areas like that. Um, so, but this are, these are kind of like the uh, meat and potatoes or bread and butter of yin yoga, the hips and the, and the spine. So today we're going to do our hip flow. Okay. So um, we're going to start with a half butterfly. Right leg is straight, left foot comes to the inside of the thigh, and then we come forward and down. And we're looking for a stretch here, nice and relaxed. As you all know, feel free to use props under your forehead, forearms. You could also sit on something or put something under your knee if necessary. And the stretch should be felt back here. Okay, you might feel it in your back a little bit, but this is the area we're trying to target, the back of the right thigh, okay? And we'll be here for the full five minutes today.
Okay, so let's switch sides. The left leg is now the active leg, and the right leg comes to the inside of the thigh. And we come forward and down, and we're looking for the stretch in the back of the left thigh this time.
Okay, so we're going to rebound. And we'll come up and back onto our back. And the idea here is to be still and quiet and introspective for about 30 seconds to a minute. All right, we'll bring our legs in, give them a little squeeze. Do a little bit of the leg cradle. And then the hinge. Okay, so now we move into you can either do a half frog or a half split. I'm going to do a half frog today, which looks like this. And instead of folding over the leg here, I just fold forward and I'm stretching the inside of the thigh. You could do the half split, which is basically the same position, but you come up onto your forearms, you lift your hips up a little bit. In either case, we're looking to stretch right in here on the inside of the thighs. Again, you can use props to help support your body in any way that makes sense for you. So something under the forehead or forearms. The first few seconds or even maybe minute or a couple of minutes in a yin posture, body very often is resisting the stretch. And so if you just relax and give the pose a little bit of time, you often find that you sink in a little bit deeper in those first couple of minutes. Now, when we do vinyasa yoga, we use the breath to try and help the body relax more quickly. In yin yoga, we don't breathe in any particular way, and instead we just use the time. We let the time, as the body realizes that it's not in danger, it just naturally begins to relax more and more.
Okay, so taking your time, changing legs. Again, we're targeting the inside of the thigh, especially in the straight leg. That's kind of the main uh, area that we're targeting is the straight leg, the inside, the adductors of the straight leg. The bent leg, the reason we bend it is we're just sort of trying to keep it out of, out of the way, more or less. Okay, so again, we're trying to get in here, nice stretch in there. You might feel it in here, and that's perfectly fine. By the way, um, not speaking much in today's class, I usually um, might speak more, uh, probably in most classes I speak more, but I never plan out what I'm going to speak about. I think sometimes students think that I have some kind of a outline or something. It's never planned, it's just spontaneous. And so that's why some classes, I just don't really have anything to say for whatever reason. Um, but for those of you um, who aren't on my Patreon page, I've been releasing um, some music recently to go with these yin classes. And uh, you can find it on YouTube, you can find it on Patreon. And um, on these more quiet classes, it might be nice to put a little bit of you know, gentle background music. You might already do that. Um, there's plenty of music available that would go along with the yin. But I'm making these, um, they're sort of ambient, relaxing uh, music, and they each are about an hour long. So they go right along with these classes. So if you're ever uh, doing one of these classes, you want to pull that up. That might be a nice background to have there in the background, especially in the classes like today where I just don't have much to say for whatever reason. If any of you have a question for me, feel free to put it in the chat and I'll be happy to answer the question as best as I can or talk about whatever subject. I'm not like on strike or anything. I'm not trying to not talk. Um, I just really let what I would say, I let the spirit move me in terms of what I say. So some days, just not much to say. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, quiet classes can be very, very powerful as well. Got about two minutes, 30 seconds left here.
Okay, so we'll unwind and you could lay on your belly, you could lay on your back. I'm gonna come onto my back. Whatever's more comfortable for you is fine. All right, let's bring our legs in, give them a little squeeze. Or if you're on your belly, you could come back into a tabletop and do a little bit of the marauding bear there. That's where we're going anyway. So when you're ready, we'll hinge on up and come into tabletop. Do a little marauding bear, give things a good stretch. And then a little bit of walk the dog. Okay, from there we're gonna move into sleeping swan. So right knee toward the right wrist hips are down and back and the stretch is here should not feel pain in your knee or your ankle feel free again to use props under your forehead you could stay upright if you want in this posture but most people find it easier more comfortable more relaxing and just as effective to bring the torso down okay we're working on the glutes and rotators in this posture.
Okay, so we're switching sides. Coming over to the left side, left leg. Again, we want to feel it in the outside of that hip. If you don't, let me know. And again, we'll be here for five minutes, stretching those glutes out.
Okay, so we're gradually unwinding back onto our back. I'm just going to relax, feel that rebound. Again, the more stillness, the more silence during the rebound, the better. The more, you might say, vulnerability, surrender. What would happen if we didn't demand or ask anything of the universe for just a few moments? If we let go of trying to control not only things in our environment, but also our inner state, how we feel what we think, what would happen if we just really let go for a few moments. We might find that the very peace that we are looking for by trying to make more money or trying to change our environment is right here. All right, let's bring our legs in. We'll squeeze. And again, we'll hinge on up to seat it. And we'll finish with a half saddle. So folding our right foot back. And we want to make sure the knee and the ankle are okay with that. So we can pad our foot. We could put something under the ankle. We could sit up on something. If you're feeling a strong stretch, stay upright. Um, and then if you don't begin to lower back and keep going back until you feel a stretch the front of this thigh. These are the quadriceps muscle group. There's four of them. That's what quadricep means, the four heads. So this uh, muscle has a one tendon down at the knee, but it splits into four separate muscles here that we are stretching.
All right. So making your way over to the other side. Uh, most people will want to come up and then uh, lay back down into it. Uh, if you're like me, you can just sort of fold the leg back um, without coming upright, which is fine too. So my point is that there's not one uh, way to come into it, uh, however you're comfortable. Again, feeling that stretch at the front of the thigh. Some days I need to go a little further to feel that stretch by bending this knee or dropping this leg out to the side, but I've been hiking a lot lately, and uh, so I feel the tension there in my quads there, getting a nice workout by all the hiking that I'm doing, and so I can feel the tension there. I have relatively open quads for whatever reason. Um, some people have a lot of tension in that particular muscle group. I don't, but again, from doing the work, I, I do feel the tension there.
please take your time unwinding and then rebounding. Okay, bring your legs in, give them, give yourself a little counter stretch. And then I'd like to guide you through a little bit of um, sleep meditation, yoga nidra. So to do this part of the practice, you lay down very comfortably. If you're at all chilly, cover yourself with a blanket. Feel free to use some padding underneath your knees to make yourself more comfortable. And um, then once you're comfortable, you really want to commit to a few minutes of stillness. We will finish on time. So again, you don't have to check your watch or if you've planned to be here till seven, we will finish on time, don't worry. So just try and relax, lay down, and let your body be still for the next few minutes. Let's begin by taking a nice full breath in, and we will exhale with a deep sigh. Again, taking a full breath in and exhale with a deep sigh. And just let your breath be natural now. Feel the breath as it comes and goes from your body. Today, I'd like to give you the opportunity to work with a personal intention or sankalpa. Your intention should be stated in the first person, <clears throat> in the present tense, and use only affirmative language. Repeat your intention to yourself silently three times. And then set it aside as you turn your awareness to your body. I'd like you to feel or imagine that your entire body is made of grains of sand. If you've ever seen a mandala made by Tibetan Buddhists, this is made of grains of sand. So I want you to imagine that your body is like a mandala. It is made up of just tiny grains of sand from head to toe. Now imagine a breeze or a fan begins to blow on your toes. 
And as it does, your toes begin to disappear. And then your feet. This breeze blows on your feet and all the sand that makes up your feet blows away. And then the ankles. The lower part of the leg. The knees. The thighs. buttocks and pelvis, the abdomen and torso, the chest and shoulder blades, fingers, hands, wrists, lower arm, elbows, upper arms, shoulders, throat, and head. Now there's nothing left of your body but you are still here. All that is left is empty space. An open, empty space where once your body was. Know yourself as this space. Perfect. Open. Empty. Free. Eternal. Into this space, bring your intention or sankalpa. Once again, repeat it yourself silently three times. And then begin to deepen your breathing. Begin to move your body, stretch, and wake yourself up. All right, everyone. I want to thank you for joining me for yin yoga today. It was a very quiet class. I hope you enjoyed that. Some people
like The Quiet, others don't. Um, I think they're both great uh, classes where the teacher is talking, classes where the teacher is more quiet. Um, I plan to do some outdoor classes um, in the near future. Um, so get in touch if you want to do that. I'm also going to organize some hikes, I think, in the coming days. One of the big studios I work for, Yoga Works, recently went out of business. So I'm going to have some more free time. Um, so if you'd like to do some outdoor yoga, some outdoor hiking, things of that nature, um, just let me know. Uh, otherwise, up to see you next week. Yeah, thanks. And I'll see you next time. All right, I must stay. Thank you.